welcome to our Channel D Academy. Before starting we would like to say that we have done lot of research on this concept and it includes hours of work, so we request you to appreciate our work by like, share and subscribe. So, let's start. Today we are going to present a seminar on printed circuit board designing. In partial fulfillment of requirements for the award of the degree. Presented by student and under the guidance of Professor DE Academy. The contents that we're covering here are introduction, PCB design tool, schematics, converting schematics to PCB, getting fabrication files, and at the end conclusion. We are going to start with introduction, basically PCB stands for printed circuit board. It mechanically supports and electrically connects the electrical or electronic components. Now the first and foremost question is why does we need PCB? A good PCB designer will design PCB having smaller area, so that it will take the lesser power, and its cost will also reduce automatically. As we know, the circuits can also be made on breadboard right. Even most of our lab experiments are able to do with breadboard. As a student there is no limitation on breadboard while using it. When it comes for industrial purpose or as a designer, we are not looking at experiments, we are looking at prototype of a product. As a designer perspective, breadboard has its own limitations, like when it requires a more electrical components placing all the components on a single breadboard is not possible. Also we have to use lot of wires to connect components in breadboard and it will be a mess. So, comparing to breadboard PCB has its own advantages. There are three basic variants of printed circuit boards. Single-sided PCB, it means conductors on only one surface of a dielectric base. Double-sided PCB, conductors on both sides of a dielectric base, usually the two layers are interconnected by plotted through holes. Multilayer PCB, conductors and three or more layers separated by dielectric materials. Here we are going to achieve PCB designing by using Easy EDA software. It is a cloud-based EDA software. It is easy to use and helps designers to create their own designs as prototypes. Learning the PCB designing is most important thing for electrical engineer. The process begins with circuit designing. It is the first and foremost step of actual design of an electronic circuit. Normally sketches are drawn on paper and then entered into a computer using a schematic editor. A schematic or schematic diagram is a representation of the elements of a system using abstract. Abstract means deep introduction about the components graphic symbols rather than realistic pictures in electrical and electronic industry. A schematic diagram is often used to describe the design of the equipment. By using easy EDA software, we can create a highly professional looking schematic. Here is an example for how a schematic diagram looks. We have to make the canvas settings before moving forward. So, some of the canvas properties are grid and snap. Where in grid we have to set visibility of the grid, grid color, style and its size. Similarly for snap, the snap size to ensure proper alignment of the parts. In the schematic, the parts or the components should be connected as our requirements so this job is done by wiring tools where all components are electronics related and some of the tools we are going to use while designing are as shown in the figure. One of the finest features of this tool is that it automatically enters wire mode. For better understanding, here is a screenshot of the Astable Multivibrator LED project schematic after wiring. Now, about moving components and wires. If a resistor or a capacitor or any component placed on top of a wire then, the wire breaks and reconnects to the ends of the components. While moving the selected components they will drag the attached wires with them to some extent technically known as rubber banding. 
Using arrow keys rubber banding of wire can be excluded. If a wire is selected by clicking on arrow keys then, green grab handles will appear at the ends and vertices as shown in the figure. One of the useful feature of this designing tool is auto-adjust connection. If a resistor or capacitor is placed on a wire, then the wire will auto-connect the pins as shown in figure. In case of a series resistors connection, we just have to wire through them, and then they all will be connected automatically. Now if we want to design a professional schematic, we have to use a lot of wires, and more time would be wasted for wiring one by one. So, in such situations, bus tool is used for wiring purpose. Now moving to drawing tools. The first tool is sheet setting tool, which is used to improve the look of the printed schematics and PCB designs by adding design notes to the frame and by the frame selection like a 4, a 3 and many more. The next tool is line tool, where we can draw a line with any direction and its attribute can be changed by selecting its color, width and style. Another tool is Bezier, with this tool we can draw pretty cool patterns. And with the arc tool we can create arc of any shape. Next the arrow head tool is used to mark the text or important part. The text tool is used for adding text in the canvas, and the text attributes provide many parameters for setting text, like its color, font family, font size, font style and text type. And next, on selecting the image tool, an image placeholder will be inserted into the canvas. The next is drag tool used to move the parts and wires. Another tool is canvas origin. The canvas origin default is set at left top corner of the schematic sheet, but using this tool we can set it wherever we want. After knowing about design tools, the next is search symbols where the option for searching symbols can be found on the left-hand navigation panel. So, we have two sections for search symbols, one is eelibs, and another one named as parts. The eelibs contains ready-made symbols for a wide range of components, which can be simulated, and the parts section contains thousands of components in category-wise. So, after searching components, the next important aspect is placing components. And it can be done by clicking on the component, and then moving mouse cursor to the canvas, and then by clicking left, and more can be added by just clicking left again. After placing component, it can be adjusted with the help of the mouse and with arrow keys, like align left, align right, align top, align bottom, bring to front and center back. With large schematics it can be hard to find the components quickly. Sometimes, mistakes will happen such as wiring to a wrong component pin. So, Design Manager is very helpful in such situations. The Design Manager consists few sections like filter, to find the components or net name easily. Component section, which lists all the components in the schematic. Nets, lists all the nets in schematic, and net pins of parts pins, lists all the pins of the selected net name or components. Moving on to Footprint Manager, it will check whether the parts package is correct or not automatically. If the part without the package, or the package doesn't exist in easy EDA libraries, or if the parts pins doesn't correspond the package's pads correctly, the Footprint Manager will show the red alert. This can be solved by changing parts pin number, changing packages pad number, and by finding another package. Now converting schematics to PCB. Most of the time, schematics are created with the aim of producing a finest PCB. So, it is necessary to convert the schematic to a PCB, and it's done by clicking the PCB icon on the toolbar with the title Convert Project to PCB. After converting schematics to PCB, it's very important to verify the package. On clicking the Convert Project to PCB button, Easy EDA will automatically load all the package PCB footprints into the PCB editor, as shown in the image.
At the final step, if any modifications done to the schematic then, using the Update PCB, button will immediately be passed forward to update the selected PCB. After completing all the steps, on clicking Run button, the real-time checkbox will show how it is going but, this process will be a little bit slow. Waiting for a few minutes, after adding bottom and top copper area, we'll get a finished PCB board like in the image below. When PCB is finished, fabrication files, Gerber file, can be taken out via Super Menu, Miscellaneous, Fabrication Output, or by clicking the Fabrication Output button from the toolbar. It will open a web page as shown in the image below, and the Gerber file can be downloaded as a zip file. With all the details, we would like to conclude, as the PCB is very important in all electronic gadgets, which are used either for domestic or industrial purpose. An effective PCB design can help in reducing the possibilities of errors and the chances of short circuit. Therefore, learning to design circuit in a PCB has great chances to explore in the field of electronics. Thank you. Thank you.